Uh, guys, hold up. Um, no, I, I'm sorry, but after the news that Ross dropped on us this morning, I don't really feel like eating. I don't have an appetite. I still can't believe the judge didn't declare a mistrial. On the other hand, this could be good news. Oh, sure, Rick, if you're the prosecution. True, it's going to a jury, not our first choice, but... On the other hand, I don't, I don't see how these 12 people can find you guilty, Danny, after all this evidence has been clearly rigged. He's got a point. Oh, except for the fact that I admitted to the jury that I did kill Carmen. Yes, but they know why you were doing it. Right. You were defending me. And that's what they're going to say, Danny. It was justifiable homicide. Well, it's obvious that Ross is going to have his hands full putting together a closing argument, so I'm going to have to find another attorney. You hired Ross? For what? You know, just to put together an agreement uh, between Harley and me. Are you that worried that she's going to shut you out? I don't know. I just want to, you know, I just want it to be spelled out. That's all. Is Harley okay with uh, that? She doesn't know about it. It's going to be okay. Huh. Are you guys coming in? Uh, no, not yet. I'm going to speak to Danny a little bit. He's not starving anyway, but we'll, we'll be in in a minute. Okay. Go ahead. What's on your mind? You, me, Robbie, freedom. Is that all? We just need another big break. We need another one, like finding out that the body wasn't <laughs> Carmen's. And then you're going to walk out of that courtroom with free man. Well, even though I'm starting to think of you as the miracle worker after coming up with those x-rays and showing I throw to be the sleaze that we already know he is. Honey, there, uh, there just aren't any more rabbits that we can pull out of his hat. Well, unless you find another hat. What are you talking what? Wait, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Ross, it's, it's Rick. When you get a chance, could you give me a call back? I need to talk to you about Harley. Thanks. Harley? about me. Hey, you know, you saved me a trip. To? The hospital. I was just on my way there to find you. I, um, I have to say goodbye. Goodbye? What, where are you going? Out of town. Isn't it a little close to your due date to be taking a vacation? It's not vacation. It's maternity leave. My job in, in Danny's trial is, is pretty much over, so uh, I'm really free to take off. Yeah, hello? Are, are you there? Yes, hi. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to reach a guest that is staying in the hotel. Uh, her name is Beth Rains. Um, or, or actually, it could be Winslow. She, she could be using that name, Beth Winslow. She's American, she's blonde, she's very pretty. Um, yeah, yes. Senorita Winslow, yes. That's, uh, that's who I'm looking for. Um, where? Fiesta. Fiesta. Um, okay. Please do me a favor. As soon as she gets back, would you tell her to call Philip? Philip. Philip? Right. Thank you very much. Right. Hi. Hi, may I help you, sir? Uh, I hope so. I'm, I need to know whether or not you have seen this man. Hoping to hell you haven't. What are you doing here? I think you know the answer to that. How dare you follow me here? How dare I not? Just leave. Right now, just turn around and walk away or I'll call the police. What are you going to tell them, Beth? But your husband loves you so much, you traveled over 1,500 miles to be with you? This is Harrison. No, Beth. This is Mexico. It's a very different world from one you're used to in Springfield. The rules are different here. Yeah, well, my feelings aren't. You can breathe on your own in the Spalding's backyard, let alone make your own decision. Oh, so you came all this way to patronize me. How wonderful. No, Beth, I came all this way to get you to understand how much I love you. And this is one place that neither Philip nor his insufferable father can keep me from getting through to you. Well, you forgot one thing what I want, which is privacy and a divorce, so go. No, I'm afraid I can't do that. You have no right Yes, to I do. 
You're my wife there. And that may not mean much in Springfield anymore, but it still means a great deal to this country. One's husband can't be so easily dismissed here. Are you threatening me? Is someone there? No! Sir? Please? A coin or two for an old woman? Well, come on, would you leave the poor thing alone? She's blind. We've got business to talk about, right? That's right. Thank you. My pleasure. Oh. Bless you, sir. You're very kind. That's me. So, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Money. What I need, you'll get a lot more of this. What is it you need again? Proof. Proof that the Harbor Project was a cash cow for Peter Breland. That the illegal money that he was getting came from Lewis Construction via Olivia Lewis, and that this money trail went straight to Edmund Winslow. Okay. Okay what? Okay you understand, or okay you can get me the information I need? It depends on how much of this stuff you're willing to put in here. Enough to make your life very sweet for a long time. Mm. I like the sweet stuff. Great. Then we can work together. You got a real thing about Prince Eddie, don't you? I think he's the most corrupt, sadistic leader this country's ever had. And I think everyone on this island, no, make that everyone in this hemisphere, should know how evil he really is. Tough talk for such a pretty lady. You know, I'm not interested in wasting my time with you. The only thing you've given me is a bunch of threats and attitude. Now, unless you put something on the table, I'm going to walk. Like this? What's on that? A phone call. Between who? Vreeland and Olivia Lewis. Discussing what? Money? Kickbacks? Bribes? <sighs> this is the business they're doing. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, Edmund's name comes up, too. You might say that I have all three. Winslow, Vreeland, and Lewis. Taped together. Take off. So why does take off sound so much like run away? I'm gonna go to California to have the baby there. You're what? Rick. Okay, just let me get this all out. I Don't say anything else, hear... okay? Just, just, just let me sit down and tell you this or I won't be able to finish. Okay. Now, I know how badly you want to be a part of this baby's life. And you will be. But right now, I just need to get away. Because as much as you and, and my family care about me, love me even, you don't know what's best for me. And damn it, you always think that you do. I need a break. I need to get away before my supporters smother me. All right, now I have a friend in California, and I'll stay with her until after I've had the baby. Susan will come out and stay with me. She'll be on a break from school. Rick, it's the best right. thing. It just feels right. It feels right. So when are you doing this? 
I'm leaving today. Okay. okay, now say something, please. Well, it all sounds very logical, Harley, except there's just one problem. What? You can't go. I, I don't know what you're doing, but you want to eat? Look, Let's look, eat. the body that I tore, pulled out of the lake, Michelle. was weighted down with chains, right? Right? Right, right, yes. Exactly what? the kind of chains that I wrapped around Carmen. And the right. thing is, I Toro didn't know that you used chains, did he? I... no. No. So, Danny, how could he fake a key detail that you I didn't don't even know, know about? Michelle, I don't know. Danny, only somebody who was there that night would know about the chains. Okay, so now you think that somebody did see us? Could be. But there's another possibility. What? You shot Carmen, and you put her body into the lake. Somebody else comes along, and they put another body in the lake, with an ankle bracelet spelling out the name Carmen. Then they go and switch the dental records, so that if the lake is ever dragged, the cops will ID that body as Carmen. But why go to all that trouble if the real body is down there and they might pull that up instead? Well, right, that wouldn't make any sense unless the real body wasn't there. Exactly, exactly. Do you see exactly. what I'm getting at? No, I don't. The only logical person who would have any reason to set up a substitute Carmen and get away with it is Carmen herself. God, do you honestly think I'd threaten you? No, no, of course not, because you love me, right? More than ever. That's why I followed you, Beth. To keep you from making a terrible mistake. I know what I'm doing. By what? Seeking the proverbial quickie divorce? Yes, the quicker the better. Beth, it would officially cut short the life we could lead together. You destroyed that. It's not too late. It's finished, Edmund. It's finished. I don't over. believe you. Being in love with you brings out the worst in me. It brings out my, my ambition, my, my selfishness, delusion, indulgence. What? You'd be much happier without dreams and goals? I don't that like the person that I became. I want to change. I need a fresh start. And that begins here, in this town, with a divorce. What? You said being in love. Present tense, not past. Oh, my grammar's not just not quite what it used to be. Beth. Beth, I think you meant exactly what you said. You still love me, Beth. Can you, can you look me in the eye and tell me you don't? Can you? No. You can't, can you? We love each other, Beth. It's as simple as that. You know it, and I know it. And that's why you can't go through with the divorce. If you're going against your own heart, already have. I'm a witness to that. I have watched you blossom into a dynamic, self-assured woman who answers to no one but herself. Our relationship helped you do that. I loved you. Okay, I don't deny that I loved you, but look where it got me. Beth, I, I've told you how sorry I am for the mistakes I've made, but we can get past it. You can. I can't. What? You prefer to get a divorce so you can go back to being your old self? 
You can go back to being the woman who lets the world treat her and see her as a victim. Beth, do you want to be someone who everyone wants to protect and not admire? Well, if that's what you think, then you really don't know me. I do know you, Beth. I know you very well. There's too much fire burning in you. There's too much hunger still for the life you always wanted to leave. The life you started with me. It was an illusion. Is that what you need to tell yourself? To somehow believe that crawling back into your shell is progress? You know, I crawled out of a tower to get away from you. I'm not going to crawl again. All right, prove it to me. That's exactly what I'm doing. By pretending our marriage meant nothing. No, no, it meant too much, okay? It, it made me do things that... that... That most people just dream about doing, Beth? Just, just... Just answer me one question. Did you or did you not feel you were at your best with me? Beth? You see? You can't deny it. Can you? Going ahead and getting a divorce would mean you would destroy the chance you had had to be fully charged again. No, I, 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 I made up my mind. Then change it, Beth. I love you. I love you, Beth, but don't do it for that reason. Do it because of the woman you are now. Do it because if you don't, you regret it for the rest of your life. She's dead. I felt her blood on my hands. Her body was cold. I wrapped it in chains and I pushed it off the dock into the water. This much I know. I know we're both very uh, stressed about all of this, but my mother cannot hurt us anymore. Okay? Okay. Okay. Look, I. Uh, I need to go to the, you know, go pick up uh, yesterday's transcript from the trial to study up on that. You want to come with me? Uh, no. No, I actually have to go relieve Aunt Maida because she's been watching Robbie all morning, so. Okay. See, that's why I love you. Because you're always looking out for somebody else. That's one of the reasons I love you. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Right. Aunt Maida. Hi, hi. Uh, how, how's Robbie? Great, great. Listen, do you mind watching him um, a little while longer? I have something I need to do. Thank you. Look at yourself, Harley. You are ready to give birth any minute. This is no time to travel. That's why I'm leaving today. While what? it is still safe to travel. Dr. Sedwick okay. Dr. Sedwick okay. Well, at least you got one doctor's approval. There Rick. you go. Rick, it'll be okay. Rick. What? Would I ever do anything to jeopardize this baby? Well, you don't want the father around. Clearly, that's not good for the kid, no, is it? I don't want to fight. Well, I don't want to fight either, so I'll just go to California with you. How about No, that is not a good idea. It's not a good idea. This is... I'm the father here. What are you trying to tell me here, Harley? What, are you trying to tell me that I, I, I can't experience the birth of, of my son? Is that what you're saying? Don't do this to me. Don't Rick. do this to me. Listen to me. I am not trying to do something to you. I am trying to do something for me and for this baby. If I am really stressed out, it could affect his well, health. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm stressing you out. Rick, it is not any one thing. It's everything. It is you 
and my father and my brother and Philip and his trial and Gus no, and... Oh, no, what, what's Gus doing? <sighs> when you're uh, cooped up in the same office with someone for months, it can get pretty intense. Same thing can happen when you spend a night with somebody. Rick, please try to understand. I am following my gut, so to speak. Great. Well, I have to do the same thing. What do you mean? Well, I'm a father. I must have a few rights, right? You sound like Philip. Harley, I went ahead and spoke to Ross about drawing up an agreement. An agreement? Yes, between us that acknowledges that I'm the baby's father. And gives you all those rights of yours. Oh, well, please, we don't want to fight, right? Does that mean that you're going to have the cops drag me no. off that plane today because Dad won't let Harley, me go? Did I Rick, say, I got... this whole thing started because you and I were friends and we reached out to each other. That doesn't seem to mean anything to you now. That's the second tremor today. So what? We got business here? Yeah. Look, if this tape has on it what you say it has on it, then we got a deal. What's your price? You must think Breland cheated you in a really big way. He did. Well? It's deep. We're worth it. We got a deal. I get it. What, do you want more? Yeah. But I'm not uh, thinking about money. There's a more personal way of sweetening the pie. I don't think so. It's cash only. Get up, take it. Run, 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 go. Wait, Leva, Leva. Leva. Oh, got it. be in this agreement a clause guaranteeing you the right to choose half the letters of the baby's name no. a stipulation that you be notified no, every time the baby not, needs birthing that's not a part of it you know damn well no it's not i don't know anything right no. now i feel like i just got mugged how does it feel harley how does it feel so when exactly did you decide to get the law working for you? When you stopped speaking to me, you left me no recourse. Oh, yeah. I treated you so badly. All I want is to be involved. That's it. That's it. And now you're telling me that I can't, I can't be involved with the birth of my own son? So why don't you tell me how you're treating me, Arlie? You tell me. I told you. I just need some time then alone. Then why stop in California? Go to Japan. I'm an idiot. I should have seen this coming. Ever since I told Philip this was my child, you've hardly even spoken to me. When you have, it's this, I am, I am independent and I am strong, I Richie. I am independent. Oh, you are? And I am Then why am are you running strong. away? Why are you running away? And so what if this child deserves both parents? Harley needs her space. She needs Rick, to be independent. She needs Rick, to be strong. This child will have both parents. I just need a little time alone and all now. I, and all I want is to, to experience this child's birth. You can have all the time alone you want. I'll give you all the space you want. I'm just telling you to leave now, to go to California, and your condition is irresponsible. It's my decision. Oh, so now, now I don't get a choice. I mean, one minute I get a choice, and one minute I don't get a choice. So why don't you tell me what it is? Rick, stop pushing me. I'm pushing you. I'm pushing you because... I am concerned about that child's welfare. I want him to be somebody. I don't want him to be a cliche like so many other children. I see in the ER all the no. time. All these kids <laughs> running around with no parents. And then I see the kids that don't, that don't know what their role is because their parents don't even know what their role is. So if I need an attorney to describe that for me, then the hell with it. I'm going for it. So why don't you just come right out and call me abusive? I'm not saying that. I mean, that. it's so obvious that I'm setting my unborn son up for disaster. Are you my friend? I... Are you my friend? Friends don't do this. I am trying to... You are trying to push me. I am trying to be a father. a wall and do things your way. You know what? Maybe we're not friends. No, maybe I'm just some one-nighter that you knocked up one night when you were loaded on, Uzo. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> no, I haven't seen him either. Okay, now, just make sure I understand this. This is the only airline 
that flies direct from Springfield to Mexico. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Joe, Philip Spaulding. Um, how long would it take you to get the jet ready to fly? Great, do it. Uh, I need you to take me to Las Flores, Mexico as soon as possible. Tell you the truth? It's not the truth. It's, it, it's a cell job with an agenda behind it. My only aim is to make you see things more clearly. Stop being so, so, so helpful. All right, all right, all right. I understand how deeply upset you are about so many things, about our situation. Our situation is over. About the pressure Philip is putting on you to return to be nothing more than the mother of his children, to the death, the death of your stepfather. That. That alone, Beth, it can affect your decision-making. Just all I'm asking is that you take one step back. How did you know about Brad's death? Do you know about the inheritance? Too? Do you know about the silver mine in Colorado? A mine? <sighs> Beth, 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 please. This has nothing to do with your stepfather or any inheritance. The only thing it's about... It's about it... us, right? It's about our magical mystical connection yes it is and don't belittle it i'm not it's just me that you want right it's, it's not my silence so i won't testify against you it's not that shiny silver and tell you right it's it's just me oh edmund i have only one thing to say to you you bastard <laughs> Rick, we are friends. I want it to stay that way. Listen to me, please. Really, really listen to me. I am not trying to hurt you. I know that you know that. And when you're friends, it's pretty hard to hide what's really on your mind, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's maybe why it's so difficult to hang in there sometimes. All I've ever wanted in my entire life is to have a family and children. I know. Okay. All right, if you want to run off to California, that's fine. But I just want to be a part of my son's birth. That's it. Well, you know that I, I, I can't predict when it's going to happen. The minute you have I... a contraction, the second you have a contraction, I will be on the first plane and I will be out there in California. Harley, this may be my first and only child. I can't miss this. You understand? I will think about it, Rick. I'm sorry. It's all I can promise right now. Really, really shrink. I can't. I guess I should go. Will you give this, um, this letter to Buzz and to Frank? You're not going to say goodbye to your family? Not in person. I don't think that I could handle another couple of doses of what we just went through. <laughs> I'll give it to him. Thank you. Okay, well, you know what? I have to do this quickly.
got it all wrong. Richard's the bastard. And I belong on the throne with you by my side. That's your fancy, not mine. If I can do a Don't you do it. Don't you make me... What? Beg me? Warn me? Stop me? Forget it. I'm not the starry-eyed widow anymore. You don't have an army to follow your orders. You love me, Beth. I loved you. And they lived happily ever after, right? Yeah. Good for you, you almost did it. You almost made me question myself and to doubt my own instincts, but in the end, your true colors always show through, don't they? Damn it, this isn't a game. No, of course it's not, because manipulation is a very serious business to you, isn't it? Because it's always about you. It's about your image, your power, your money. Do you notice that love didn't even make that list? You know why? Because you don't even know what love is. My God. How can you believe that? Do you, do you... Do you remember the first time we shared a bed? Do you remember what we did? Do you remember how it made us feel? Beth, you were with a man who you loved. All I want is you. And I want you now as strongly as I wanted you then. <laughs> no, not gonna do this to me, it's over. And in case you didn't catch it the first dozen times or so, it is over, this is it. You don't know how wrong you are. There's nothing that you can do to stop me. Be there in five minutes. Oh. Hey. Hi. You picking somebody up? Um, no. Zach and I are going away for a while. You and Zach are going away for a while? Yeah. I don't remember hearing anything about that. Where is he? Uh, Ruth drove us to the airport in there at the gift shop buying him a little toy for the flight. I left you a message at the mansion. When? An hour ago. Oh, that's cute. Not a hell of a lot of notice. We're not going far. Where are you going? California. For how long? Zach or me. What? Look, Philip, I need to get out of town for a while. And before you say, but you're taking Zach with you, relax. He'll be back soon. In fact, I'd like for him to stay with you if that's okay. Yeah, of course it's okay. Um, you're not coming back? Not right away. Until you have the baby, you mean? Right. Rick know that? Yes. I told him hour, over an hour ago. I guess there's no point in telling you that's the wrong thing to no, do. No, there's not. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, I, I, I take it you're going somewhere, too? Yeah, I've got a uh, little trip that I have to make. Business? You call it that. Um, well, I, I guess I should go get I go, back. I have to go, too. I gotta get to the terminal. Jet's waiting for me. So, I guess we're headed in different directions. Yeah, seems like we always were. <laughs>
Hey, Greg. Uh, what's this? You okay? Yeah, I'm just confirming for myself that I'm not an origami master. Okay. Uh, have you seen Michelle? Uh, last time I saw her was outside with you. She told me that she was going home to relieve Maida from watching Robbie, but when I called the house earlier, Maida said that Michelle called her and asked for her to watch Robbie a little longer. She's not answering her cell phone. Just can't figure out why. Richard, have you seen Riva? No, as a matter of fact, I've been looking for Cassie. I haven't seen either one of them for hours. You didn't suppose they went back to that god awful bar, did you? Here you are. We got it. We got it. And it's all true. Everything I thought about Olivia. She's right, she's right. Olivia, Breland, Edmund, they are up to their eyeballs and payoffs and bribes for that Harbor Talking project. About. That tape is gonna nail them. has been guiding life.